everyone welcome back to our channel if you're new here welcome we're the garso twins i'm carly and i'm britta and if you like this video or any of our other videos we'd love it if you would subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads we're trying to upload more in the new year so mm -hmm. um yeah if you like our videos don't want to miss them uh, today we are reviewing and swatching the covergirl outlast ultimate liquid lipsticks we don't think these are new um, but they were sent to us in pr so we have all the shades and we thought it would be fun to do a review and a lip swatch video we love doing these you guys seem to like them um so we want to keep doing them for you so let's get into the swatches and then we'll do the review for $11 each on Ulta. Um, so the shade that I'm wearing is Prosecco Pop. This is probably my favorite shade from the range. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful nude. I feel like it's not a pinky nude, which you guys know we don't really like. It's like a true beige nude. It leans more cool, but I still think it's pretty neutral. It would flatter anybody and it's so easy to wear. Yeah, I really like that shade, um, but then I'm wearing probably my favorite one, which is 130 Wine O'Clock which is like a true red with a, a hint of warmth. Like it's not a true like orange red, um, but it has a little bit of warmth. Like it's, um, it leans a little warm. So I love it. I think again, this is the yeah. shade that would look good on everyone. Um, I can only really see myself re-wearing these shades. Yeah, so. Unfortunately. Yeah, I guess um, we can speak on the shades first. Mm -hmm. um, so out of the 11 shades, like these two are our favorites. Some of the darker colors, as you can probably see, were a little patchy. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's wearing this bright pink yeah. shade. Um, that's our issue with all, I feel like, I mean, a lot of lines in general, but especially drugstore, I feel like they always come out with around 11 to 15, 20 shades, lots of pinks, lots of like deep tones that yeah. nobody really wears, lots of reds. Like, I feel like all they really need is a good nude, a good red, maybe like a fun orange, but like that's yeah. it, like narrow it down to yeah. like five shades that people will actually well, wear. I do get it because like these are mass brands and yeah. you need to produce like a larger line if you're a mass brand in a mass retail environment, but... I think that if you're not making colors to suit all skin tones, then what are you really doing? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to pinpoint CoverGirl, but Maybelline has really come a long way. We've purchased a lot of their recent lip products, and yeah. the shades are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, they've really kind of, like, nailed in on a lot of, like, unique shades that are really flattering. Um, but I feel like CoverGirl, like, we've, we like, we're going to talk about this formula, but I really like this formula. Mm -hmm. And I just wish that there were shades, like, for instance, the Deeper Berries. Like, not only were they patchy, but I don't even think of those. I think, like, in their mind, they made them to flatter, like, deep, medium to deep skin tones. Mm -hmm. But that shade really wouldn't flatter. Yeah, they're missing, like, a deep nude, too. Yeah, like, I just feel like they have to be a little more thoughtful in their shades. Yeah. But, um... You know, it is what it is. This is where we're at right now with this line. Yeah, so um, I'll go over the benefits that they're claiming and then we'll like talk about the formula itself um, as we go through. So it says single swipe delivers intense matte color in one swipe. So I don't know if I agree with that because one of the things I love about this formula is how like sheer and buildable it is. It goes on very moussey and like a very thin layer is applied. So especially with like the deeper shades, it's definitely going to look patchy on one swipe and they're claiming that you get like intense matte color on one swipe. So I don't really agree with that, but I'm glad that you don't because I feel like if you're like us and love like that blotted lip look with any of these shades, you could easily put on a really sheer layer and get like a really blotted lip look with like a little bit of color, a kiss of color. Um, and then you can really build it up. Like I did a couple of swipes to get this intensity, but it still feels really thin on the lips and very matte. 
Yeah, I actually feel like these go on kind of like a thin gel lip stain. Mm -hmm. Like I have some other lip stains in my collection and I feel like they go on like that and they do have like that little like sheen that most lip stains have right away. And then they sort of like dry down to a super, super matte mm -hmm. finish. Um, so are these called lip stains? No, liquid lipsticks. I don't know. To me, it's like more of like a really opaque matte lip stain, um, which I love because it, like Britta said, they're so mm -hmm. thin, which again, I find that a lot of lip stains have that like thin texture. Um, and yeah, you really could just use a little bit and blot it out and it would look really beautiful. Um, I feel like these are really versatile and really easy to use. So yeah. that's why it's like so disappointing that there's not better shade. Yeah, the next claim is transfer resistant, which I, it doesn't mm -hmm. bleed or feather and I haven't noticed them to yeah, bleed or feather no either. Yeah, no transfer. Yeah, no transfer at all. 24 hour comfortable wear. So I would never wear this for 24 hours, but I I think it could last I know, long. you guys, these are really comfortable. Like, well, okay, I think it feels like a matte lipstick. Like, I don't want you to think it doesn't feel drying at all, but because it's such a thin layer, it feels a lot more comfortable than like a thick matte lipstick. Yeah, and I feel like there's some, like, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little bit of tackiness still like when I hit my lips together. And so there's some- I don't have that at all. Oh, um, well, okay, so this is Lesson in mm -hmm. um, Cosmetics. Lighter shades have more like titanium dioxide, yeah. white pigment generally, Drier. and it makes it more dry. So mm -hmm. usually reds are more comfortable. Um, so maybe that's why. I'm yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then it says unique applicator. I don't think this is a unique applicator, but it's a standard doe fit, and I think it deposits the perfect amount of product. Yeah. So no complaints with the applicator yeah, at all. But it's just like a doe foot that has a slant, not a ton of flocking. Yeah. It's vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. Um, and I think that's it for claims. So it says it does leaves lips feeling moisturized. I wouldn't say that. No, I did put um, out before under mine too. I didn't because we were just doing the swatches. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, overall, I think we both really enjoy this formula because like we said, it's thin, it's matte, especially now where a lot of people are, I mean, everyone's wearing a mask when you go out. I feel like people are kind of gravitating more towards like the matte lip look. I mean, I think glossy, like sheer lipsticks are still really in right now, but I know that it is so annoying when you put a lipstick on and then you put a mask on and it gets all over your mask. So I do think for that reason, like if you're going out to dinner, if you can do so, we still can't do that here, which is fine. We want to be safe. Um, but if you're doing that, like this would be perfect to wear because it's not gonna get on your mask. I feel like you could eat through it even. Yeah, it um, does last so well. There's one more thing. The scent is really, I don't oh, wanna say repulsive because it's not so dramatic, device. but it smells so bad. It smells like all the other CoverGirl liquid lipsticks we've yeah. tried. It's just so bad. It's like um, a plastic faux vanilla. It's, I smell like berry too. Oh really? No, it's weird. Um, but I will say other ones we've tried from them have not dissipated and I've been like, I have to take this off. I feel sick, but this seems to dissipate. Like I can't really yeah. smell it now that it's on my lips. When you're, you're applying, it really makes me sick. I'm like, Ooh, yeah, ooh, not good. Okay. Should we do a writing? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to write these a four out of five. Me too. Because I love the formula. I'm only knocking points for the smell because it is so bad. I just wish they wouldn't include any fragrance. Um, and the shade range. I feel like they're, I actually do, I should mention, I do actually really like the very sincere, mm -hmm. um, shade as well, but out of 11, like to only really like three, that's not, um, not too great, but I love the formula. I think it's so good for a matte liquid lipstick formula. And I haven't re really even been wearing liquid lipsticks at all. Me either. And I feel like this is, I mean, it's been so long since I've tried them, but I really feel like this formula is like very high end and like mm -hmm. very, like something that I would pay a lot more money for. Yeah. Um, I'll definitely wear this red shade again. I just, yeah, I wish that they did a better job with the shades just because the formula is really good. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna feel like we do where the shades just aren't flattering. So you would give it a four as well? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you've tried these, let us know down below.